narwhal, Monodon monoceros, is probably the coolest looking whale for obvious reasons. So let's talk about the most obvious thing about them, that lack of an E at the end of their name. Ugh. The narwhal's name comes from the old Norse word nar, which means corpse. The blotchy color and their habit of just basking at the surface in summer just remind people of drowned sailors. Yup. The lack of an E is due to the narwhal's mystical connection to the nar force, which removes the E from the end You're of making shit up, Fred! Oh, Stop no. it! Stop it! No, I'm, I've just been told that I've been making that up, sorry. Ah! Narwhals are found throughout the Arctic Circle, where they feed primarily on small fish, squid, and other tasties from the seafloor. Because of this, they're also often found with rocks in their stomachs they just sort of accidentally eat. Due to the lack of teeth that aren't crazy-ass cool, the thought to hunt by swimming towards prey just sort of sucking them down. Suck it down. John Romero. Honk. The narwhal's tusk is the most notable well-known feature of the narwhal. It's a powerful tool used for spell casting, allowing the many no, narwhal mates- not real. Stop Fine. it. Fine. We don't know what the deal with the tusk is for sure. The tusk is in actuality a single tooth that has grown out, piercing the face in a twisted left curving helix until it becomes that wicked badass looking thing. Primarily only males have this tusk, but very rarely females can also grow one. Even more rarely, sometimes they grow two tusks. There is exactly one recorded instance of a female with two tusks. The tusk might be a tool used for socializing between other narwhals, or might be a sensory thing. All we know is these things are chock full of nerves, and we see them just kind of dicking around with each other with them. Throughout medieval Europe, the tusk of the narwhal was believed, said, lied about to be the horn of the mystical unicorn and had tons of magical powers. There are multiple instances of Vikings and other peoples of the north selling the tusks of the narwhals for stupid amounts of money. During the 16th century, Queen Elizabeth received a carved narwhal tusk for around 10,000 pounds, which, adjusting for inflation, is the cost of a castle. 